Hello and welcome to another A1 video. What is the history of the American Revolution? I think the basic thing that led to the American Revolution was not the theoretical Montesquieu division of powers or John Locke's argument that men, we would now say people, are created by God as inherently free we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights is lifted straight from Locke, but rather that the great big Atlantic Ocean which sat between Great Britain and us. Communication in this era was difficult and long. G.B. took the view that the Englishmen living in North America could take care of themselves for the time being. Technology moves right along, and ships made the trip with greater safety and greater speed. This enabled G.B. to ship a ton of troops to fight the French and Indian War, to protect her colonies from the depredations of the French. G.B. won, but she won at great cost, and that led to probably the most famous cause of the war, the Stamp Act. G.B. felt that the cost of the war should be borne by the colonies that profited from its successful prosecution. After all, nobody in London or Liverpool was in danger, right? So, all imported tea had to have a tax stamp affixed, and since Americans had become addicted to that wonderful beverage that came from another colony, India, they felt it would defray the cost of the war. Well, this led to the Boston Tea Party the cry of no taxation without representation, the formation of the Sons of Liberty, and the rest, as they say, was history. The thing is, having been left alone for roughly 140 years the colonists were used to governing themselves, voting their own taxes and generally being ignored by G.B. It was the shock of what they saw as arbitrary taxes that galvanized them into action. The idiotic reaction of the Brits to this, among them the Boston Massacre and the suppressive acts of 1764, took the simmering discontent and moved on to a full boil. Voila, revolution. How was the American Revolution won? Basically by not losing. That probably sounds facetious or tautological, but it isn't. The Revolutionary War was largely one of attrition, and the endgame was more like the British giving up than the revolutionary colonists kicking their ass. Britain's military resources vastly exceeded the colonies. But we were fighting on our own soil, which is generally an advantage, and our top commander, George Washington, got pretty good at cutting his losses and running when he needed to, to live and fight another day, and win just enough battles to keep Britain off balance. Plus our top diplomat, Benjamin Franklin, played brilliant triangulation politics and got France, another big European power and Britain's archenemy, to join in the war, on our side. Also there were plenty of guerrilla tactics on our side, especially in the South, and it's famously difficult for an orthodox military power to quickly extinguish a concerted guerrilla war think Vietnam. Finally, the war was a huge drain on Britain's treasury. It costs a lot to build big warships and sail them across the sea, hire Hessians to fill in your troop strength, etc. Support for the war in Britain waned as it dragged on without a clear path to victory, with high costs, and with the threat of even wider French or other European involvement. Britain could continue to obtain what it wanted most from its American colonies cotton and tobacco whether it controlled them politically or not. When Cornwallis, his routes of resupply or retreat, cut off by French warships, surrendered a major battle, Yorktown, to Washington, the writing was on the wall. It just wasn't worth it to Britain to continue the war. So they sued for peace. What was the impact of the American Revolution on the French Revolution? The American Revolution principally introduced new political possibilities driven by the Enlightenment idea of republicanism, resurgent from Roman times to those living in France. Specifically, the French, followed by a number of colonies throughout the world, came to terms with the reality that it was now possible for a weak polity, such as a colony, to overcome a strong one, such as an empire. This was a brand new geopolitical development. French soldiers and sailors who came to the aid of American patriots in fighting their common enemy, the British, returned to France with some new concepts to work out, most notably republicanism. It was our Declaration of Independence that most famously articulated the matter of civic consent. Governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. However, whereas the American Revolution was merely political not social, and whereas it talked the talk but didn't walk the walk, it did not fully implement the new republicanism ideas of Paine, Adams, Jefferson, Franklin, etc., French revolutionaries actually tried to work them out in practice. They introduced constitutional measures very early in the FR, pressed for a reformed monarchy, and passed the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, and initially emancipated the slaves in their colonies, a short-lived measure. The revolutionaries in Saint-Domingue did even better by securing permanent legal freedom for all slaves in that colony. 
Unfortunately for democracy, all this progress unraveled when the Jacobins seized power and began exterminating their enemies in a three-year-long period of anarchy that culminated in the reign of terror. The politically weak directory government that followed created ripe conditions for a takeover when, in 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte marched his army into the city and became dictator. Before all of this, before the radical Jacobins, the earliest French revolutionaries had promoted a nobler vision. At least, by modern values. Thus, the American Revolution was the first colonial revolution of the so-called modern era. It paved the way for the French Revolution, followed swiftly by the Haitian Revolution, the Latin American Wars for Independence, roughly concurring with Greece's struggle for independence from the Ottoman Empire, and so on. Early American elites provided the ideological seeds for liberty and self-rule which other colonies heard about, adapted to their own needs and context, experimentally planted within their own socio-political soils, and watered. The long-term results produced a diverse harvest of newly decolonized countries today. How did the Enlightenment influence the American Revolution? The period of Enlightenment was a period when people started to reason and question the order of things. Everything was questioned even downright to religion. One of the most important philosophers whose writing influenced the American Revolution was John Locke. One of the ideas of John Locke the idea of natural rights, life, liberty and property, was fundamental to the American Declaration of Independence, which stated that all men are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness hence, when King George III started imposing taxes on them and punishing those who went against the various acts, they saw it as an attack on their human rights. Also Locke and Rousseau's ideas on social contract helped shape the minds of the leaders of the American Revolution, thereby affecting the revolution itself. In Rousseau's social contract he argued that the only good government was the one freely formed by the people and guided by the general will of the society. John Locke in the two treatises of government also argued that government should rule based on the consent of the governed. These ideas of John Locke and Jean-Jacques Rousseau formed the basis for the American revolutionary movement of popular sovereignty. Locke furthermore said in the two treatises of government that the citizens had a right to revolt against whatever government failed to protect their rights. It could be said that Thomas Paine, an American who wrote the pamphlet titled Common Sense in 1776, drew his idea from Locke. He attacked the monarchy in his pamphlet and insisted that common Americans had the ability to be their own kings and were far more deserving of leadership posts than those who had worn English crowns. This idea was also reflected in the Declaration of Independence document wrote by Thomas Jefferson that whenever any form of government becomes destructive, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it hence the Americans felt the need for a revolution to abolish the government that had become destructive. Why was the American Revolution important? The path from serfdom is made not in baby steps, but in giant leaps. The American Revolution was one such leap. Not the greatest or the best, why then so important? Just as the Iranian Revolution is important to Iranians and not so much to U.S. citizens, so the American Revolution is important to U.S. citizens. Particularly so in regard to the contemporary creation myth of the USA. The revolution is particularly upweighted in the consciousness of U.S. citizens as it sets it apart from old world governance, the concept of personal freedom. The generally accepted truth is that the USA does not allow its citizens any greater freedoms, now or then, than most other developed countries, and compared to some, significantly less. You are free to carry firearms though, which is a significant freedom resulting in a continual mass slaughtering of innocent citizens. Interestingly, the propaganda of plucky rebel seeking freedom from evil empire is such an enduring false meme held by U.S. citizens, reflected in the immensely popular Star Wars movie, that results as a massive collective cognitive dissonance when it is exposed as a lie. Such is the disbelief and lack of comprehension of many U.S. citizens when faced with animosity from genuine rebels to their government's imperial ambitions. So in a nutshell, the American Revolution is not that important, but you're continually told it is, to reinforce the lie that your government and you as a result, are a bit special. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe the video.